Hey guys, Lulu here. I do hope you're having a great day. Hmm. I bet you thought I'd say shit, didn't you? Okay, I do hope you're having a shit day. Happy now? I've got some big plans for 2025 and thought to make a quick video sharing my vision going forward. Hey, I might not be wearing glasses today, so God fucking help us. You know, after the last video, which was like 15 minutes long, I was like, woo boy, I need to cut the amount of bullshit I say down. Probably not happening yet, but before that I somehow got a sponsor. I do wonder if they watch my videos because I'm kind of unhinged. Anyway, I'm the type of person who only accepts sponsors for stuff I'd actually use myself. So here we go. Introducing today's sponsor, Flexispot. I've been working on my health lately, especially since I spend so much time sitting while editing and gaming. That's why I was excited when Flexispot offered me their E7 Pro standing desk. It's adjustable to any height, making it perfect for everyone, even shorter girls like me. With various customization options, you can choose between sleek wood finishes or something bolder, like my gothic style, and even pick your leg color. If you're like me and have a chaotic mess of cables under your desk, you'll appreciate the built-in cable management bay and the included cable ties to keep everything organized. It's a game changer, I tell you. After using this desk for a month, I've noticed a significant boost in my focus and energy levels. Plus, the solid wood surface supports up to 160 kilograms, so it's great for all your equipment. If you're intrigued, FlexiSpot is running an amazing Black Friday sale right now with discounts of up to 90%. Check it out. Thanks to Flexispot for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the video. So a bit about me before I get to next year. So I've already talked about in the past how I just want to make fun videos, but honestly I never expected for this new me to do well. I mean, it was just me messing around, if I'm honest. It was quite a gamble, as I was willing to risk it all to get cancelled, as in I had nothing really left to lose. I mean, I don't have monetization. I've been away from the Final Fantasy community for a while, so I'm essentially a nobody, so basically I had nothing to lose. I am very grateful grateful for my monetization being taken away and having a break. I think that is when the best stuff is made and you really stop giving a shit. Hmm. Maybe it's because of my age. It's true what they say. You know, when you hit 30, you just chill out. Anyway. I was so tied up previously in trying my best to be careful not to offend someone, especially with my jokes or, oh my god, I featured a streamer who said a naughty thing. It restricts you and forces you to be and act a certain way. Fuck that. It's shit. Don't do it to yourself. I think that applies to real life also. Don't censor yourself to please others. I'm happy at this point. If only one person watches my video or one million, it doesn't matter. I'm just having fun. It feels like I've been fucking baptized by Yoda with the fucks I do not give stick. It's awesome. I can just make whatever the hell I want. Well, within reason, of course. I mean, it's not like I was desperately searching for a big new idea to be popular again. I only want to make something fun. Fun videos like the ones I grew up watching on YouTube, like Angry Video Game Nerd and PewDiePie. These guys are the fucking OGs of YouTube and still continue to inspire me to this day. James from AVGN is amazing for his way of coming across angry, swearing with profanity, but somehow making his videos super interesting, sharing his passion for retro video games. It's fucking awesome. I think his videos are very relatable, which is something I try to do for my videos. I think in some way I'm very much inspired by him. For me, I really want to hit that nostalgia itch in people. So with that, I thought to myself, what would happen if I just put my brain to paper without any social limitations and stop caring about offending people? Sounds lewd, or maybe it just sounds lewd in my mind. I think I've been playing Final Fantasy for too long, maybe. You guys have rubbed off on me. Wait. Uh, fuck. Uh, never mind. Anyway, if you have been watching my recent videos, you probably think I'm fed up with Final Fantasy and MMOs in general. I just think Final Fantasy is certainly in a rough spot for sure. With the story being quite weak and the content being a bit lackluster, it doesn't mean it can't recover though. Hey, like I said earlier, being at rock bottom will drive creativity. I think the dev team being humbled and the community mostly not liking their current direction is a good thing to gauge where they should go next. There are two ways they could go though, which Blizzard failed fucking tremendously with. One, they think they're rock stars and ignore the community. Or two, listen to the community feedback, make some changes and pop off. As for other games, I've got to come clean about something. It's fucking awful. I haven't played EverQuest 
Celeste or RuneScape yet, I know it's a fucking sacrilege. I'm gonna trigger some of you straight out the gate. RuneScape looks like absolute horseshit. Wait, before you grab your bitch forks and burn me at the stake, I know that graphics aren't everything, so I'm ready to give it a chance and dive in Betty Swalik's deep. If you caught my last video, you'd know that my first experience with an MMO was World of Warcraft, so I didn't really get a chance to play anything before that. Wait, an idea just came to my tiny monkey brain of mine. Please bear with me whilst I try to formulate a coherent sentence. I think I've talked shit long enough. Okay, this is the plan for 2025. What if I go and check out all these games that I've been missing out on? Wouldn't it be hilarious to try and navigate through all the shitty MMOs? No, I am not going to pinch Josh Strifehay's idea. Okay, yes, I might do that. Oh, Oh well, I'll be giving my own thoughts on them and with of course a comedic point of view. There is also another thing I thought about. How do you not alienate your Final Fantasy community whilst doing this? Well, I'll be keeping my character as the presenter. She is not going anywhere. So to those of you remaining who haven't given up playing, have been begging Yoshi P for content, and to those of you also unsubbed, don't worry, I love you too. I will be taking you along with me for the ride. So yeah, next year I will be covering MMOs that I've not played, but also I wanna do more of these topic style videos like the recent MMO fatigue video, answer some questions that most are too pussy to cover, like are Western video games too woke these days? Oh, if you're worried about me not making Final Fantasy videos ever again, don't worry, I'll still cover serious content releases, but I don't think I'd be that type of person to cover a new cash shop release for a minion or mount and talk about it for 10 minutes just to hit those monetization thresholds. I've been there and done that. It's pretty bad. I mean, holy fuck, man. I can't imagine anything more boring to watch than that. So yeah, next year I'm basically going to lock in and put my Crocs in sports mode. I think I've found my vision going forward and yeah, I hope you'll join me for the future. Let's fucking hit it. That's all from me. Baka. Ah!